quoting the TikTok, the Harry Potter TikTok. No, Ron, no, there must be another way. This video is gonna be me mispronouncing the brand name for 20 minutes straight. Uh. Hi, I'm Maya, and this is my so-called life. I live in New York City as a 20-something. I wanna find and make the best food, watch all the recommended movies and TV shows, and see tons of cities in this country. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to join in on the fun. Welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a bit of an unusual video. We are reviewing something that I've bought. This right here is the base travel backpack and we're going to be digging into all of the different details, pros and cons, and overall whether I think the purchase was worth it. So I actually saw this bag first in an Instagram sponsored ad. Usually, I mean, especially because I work in paid social, um, I wouldn't say the ads are particularly effective on me, but I have to give credit where credit is due. I saw this ad and um, going through all of the details of what make it special really caught my eye. With my goal of hitting 30 North American cities before 30 and considering the price point for this bag, I thought that it might be worth the investment. I'd say from the marketing alone, I was really impressed with the thoughtfulness of the designs. They have, for example, luggage that's collapsible so that you can shove it under your bed, which is something that I've encountered frustrations with before. And I also saw on TikTok that they have a series that proves that their toiletries case can withstand all sorts of stains and makeup spills. So they really are putting in the work to show people that their travel products are different from the rest. And as you're about to see, this backpack really does have so many little details that promise to help you tackle a lot of your travel challenges. So we're gonna start off with a little intro to base as a brand, and then I'll show off the details of the backpack before getting into pros and cons and my conclusion. I feel like the three core promises that BASE makes throughout their website and their products is affordability, functionality, and their stuff looks good. They talk about hitting the road with pieces that won't break the bank, won't compromise functionality, and are selfie ready cool. And if you're familiar with Shay Mitchell from either Pretty Little Liars or You, the TV show on Netflix, this is her line and she said that it was important to her to create affordable pieces for travelers like her. So this is the hanging backpack. It is not their most popular bag, I would say. Like I haven't seen it as part of a lot of their promotional content. The price point is $128. When I went to check out, there actually was a promotion on their site. I don't know if it was like first time buyer or something, but the discount was around $20. After New York City taxes and shipping, in total the bag came out to $129.30. So definitely more expensive than just like your everyday backpack. Before purchasing this bag, I actually used an old Everlane backpack that I think was around like the $80 price point, which has been my go-to work bag for several years now but it doesn't hold kind of as much as i would like it to for a weekend trip and it's also just frustrating having to ruffle through the bag itself so um, i was very open-minded when i saw this backpack especially when it came to the collapsible organizer inside which i'll show you in a second in terms of colorway it does currently just come in black I would have liked to have seen some other options, although I may have just defaulted to black already. I think this color is great for not showing a lot of stains. My Everlane backpack is gray and has definitely gotten darker gray, like over time, if you know what I mean. I have an away suitcase that is blue that definitely has shown stains over time. So right now it only comes in black. I don't know if there are more colorways in the works, but some of their other pieces come in creams and other sort of neutral tones. In terms of shipping, I ordered this on January 31st because I had a trip on February 17th to Nashville if you saw that video linked above if you would like to check that out. And the bag arrived on February 2nd so it came three days later which was amazingly fast. I did not expect that at all especially given that there's a lot of supply chain issues lately so yeah really impressed with that for sure. For the overall appearance I think it's pretty 
sleek. Like it's this rectangular shape. And then there's this one zipped pocket on the front. And then there's the base logo at the bottom. From the side, it's a little bit triangular, but there's this snap closure. I'll show you um, in a bit that this does open as well. So it can get more sort of rectangular um, the fuller the bag gets. I'm gonna unclip this here and show you kind of the main event. So here we have zippers that go top to bottom on both sides. You'll see here is the built-in removable organizer. They call it a compressible packing system. I don't know if I consider it that compressible, but um, it is super convenient and ultimately is what sold me is that you can take this out so that when you are at your travel destination, you can hang this up and then just use the backpack in your everyday. Just zip this back up for now. The back of this bag has what they call ultra padded straps. They are super comfortable. And then this part is also extremely padded. Your laptop pocket is actually right here. Um, your laptop will be right against your back and it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. And then here also is the trolley pass through. I didn't actually end up using this because I was just going for the weekend. So I didn't take a suitcase but I'll insert some images and it seems like it would be extremely easy to use and great to just be able to slip onto your suitcase so that you don't have anything on your back at all. And then back to the front side, going back to this exterior zip pocket, I would say it's about one hand deep. And this is really great for travel documents or things that maybe are less valuable so you don't have any concern that people might try to take them. On the front here, as you probably saw, we have this humongous flap that goes over. This is both a pro and a con, which we'll get into later, but at the bottom here, you do have the clips that connect with the clips that come underneath the backpack. And this bag has two side pockets. One is sort of this expandable pocket for your water bottle. And then on the other side, you have a zippered pocket which I ended up using for my glasses cases, but it's just really nice to have the zippered element. And inside of the zipper pocket is actually a clip so you can attach like your keys or something, which is really handy because when I'm out of town, I don't use my keys obviously because I'm not coming home. There's nothing worse than getting home from a long trip and having to dig through everything to find your keys. So while I didn't use this, it would be extremely handy. And just going back to these shoulder straps, they are adjustable. I found that I needed them to be even tighter than like what appears to be the tightest setting. So there was a good portion of the trip that I was like, this bag has fallen off my back, uh, but it really just takes some finessing. But I didn't realize that for quite some time, which was pretty frustrating. And then getting into the interior. As I mentioned, you do have these like snap elements that's supposed to help compress your bag. Here you do have another zippered pocket, which is great for your wallet or headphones or anything that you want to make sure is protected. But it's also super easy to just like slide your arm in when the flap is over the top to grab. So extremely useful for things that I wanted to access during say my flight or while I was on the road, but didn't want to completely unpack my bag and dig through. As I mentioned earlier, here is the internal organizer, which I'm going to collapse for now. And then you'll see here, there are two pockets in the back. These are actually really great for putting shoes in. I just put a pair of flats and then also a pair of flip flops for the shower at the hostel. So it's really nice storage behind the organizer where you probably are gonna be putting your clothes. And then here in the front pocket, um, which folds down. You'll see in the B-roll it a little bit clearer, but there is um, a mesh pocket here where I actually still haven't unpacked, but is where I put delicates so you can put socks, underwear, whatever you need. And then there is this clear pocket, uh, which actually has zippers on both the top and the bottom, which is really great because 
they took into account that sometimes it might be upright like this and then sometimes it's gonna be maybe hanging like this and then this will be the top. Really great that they have zippered top and bottom. All right, so now that I have reassembled the bag, I have a few clips of me packing the bag. So I'll show you what I packed for four days in Nashville and what I look like when I'm wearing the bag. I will say when it's full, it looks quite bulky. Like it looks like you have a brick on your back, which is fine. Um, I guess at least it's a sleek brick and you know, you know that it's functional, so whatever. To me, this hanging backpack has plenty of space for a weekend trip. I brought with me, I think roughly three pairs of pants and maybe three or four shirts and socks and underwear and bras and all that and then fit toiletries and charging cables, external hard drives, you know, like my techie stuff, as well as my work laptop and my personal laptop. I was quite pleased with how much I fit. I have a few clips of the backpack when I was sitting on the plane. When it was more full on the way home from Nashville, I would say that it kind of had trouble fitting under the airplane seat, but it wasn't flagged by any flight attendants or anything, so it wasn't really an issue, but it was definitely not fully under the seat in front of me. This might become an issue if, say, you have to put your bag in one of those like metal sizing things at the gate. I don't know. Um, but just something to know if you are getting a cheapy flight where you didn't pay for a carry-on. Also wanted to note that since I've been back from Nashville, I have actually used it for work. It's been really great for taking my work computer to and from the office, especially because it is padded and it is really comfortable and it's waterproof so I don't have to worry about you know rain or snow or what have you affecting the contents inside. For the everyday the big old flap that you do have to clip is kind of an annoying aspect because you do have to do that you know when you're packing up, when you get to the office, when you're packing up at the end of the day, and when you're getting home. But something that I love about this backpack is that it fits my keyboard, which I do take to and from the office. Whereas with my Everlane bag, it would always sort of stick out of the top, and it was pretty obvious that I was toting a keyboard with me. Not great, but this is nice and tall and fits everything I need for the day. Let's get into the important stuff, the pros and the cons. Pros, which I just mentioned as I was talking about commuting to work, I love that this backpack is weatherproof. Love that. Especially with traveling, you never know exactly what the weather's gonna be. So really, really nice that this has you covered. My favorite thing about this bag by far is also what makes it so special, which is the hanging internal organizing system. I had in the two topmost compartments my charging cables and also my toiletries, which made it super handy when I was going through TSA. I could just easily whip out the toiletries and then put them back in, as well as the charging cables. When I was, for example, sitting at a cafe doing some work, editing a vlog, I could just reach in and grab the external hard drive or my chargers or whatever I needed. I didn't have to go rifling through my bag in a way that I probably would have to if I was using my old backpack. This interior zipper pocket that's right here. I actually love this. I mentioned this earlier, but when you have the external flap and when it's clipped at the bottom, you can still like reach, reach your hand in right here and then grab whatever you need. So it's super handy. I ended up putting a lot of stuff in this front pocket. I appreciate them putting the thought into um, not only having one on the outside, but then also on the inside right there. Another thing I love is the zippers on both sides here and here. It's just really nice that when your backpack is all packed up and stuff, you can unzip it like this and then just see your whole organizer and pull from the bottom if you want. Because this whole thing unzips, you don't have to pull this all the way out to get to the bottom stuff. I do love both of the side pockets. Uh, I have seen a couple reviews saying that people's Nalgene water bottles don't fit in this. I have no problem with the two water bottles that I own. And then also I'm addicted to Healthy Kombucha, which is a bottle with a wider base and that also will fit in the side pocket. And then as I mentioned earlier, I love that this is zippered here on the side. 
I put my glasses case in here and I don't have to worry about it falling out like I would with my old backpack. I just think that the clip inside is really, really smart. The back straps and the back of the backpack itself are really comfortable. In Nashville, there were days where I was in between the hotel and hostel and was just walking around town with this backpack the two laptops and everything that I brought with me. And it was extremely comfortable even when I was doing like 30 to 40 minute walks. It was totally fine. I am going to add the laptop pocket as a pro. So for me, I have a 13 inch Mac laptop and then also kind of a 13 inch HP computer for work. And I was kind of worried that they weren't both gonna fit. Actually, it was a very last minute decision that I brought both with me. They both fit in here, stacked against each other. A huge pro for me and with the padding, like two laptops, I didn't even feel it digging into my back ever. Now getting into the cons of this backpack. I've kind of alluded to it a little bit when talking about using this as an everyday work bag. This huge flap, I wish it was like half the height, honestly, and was either Velcro or had clips that didn't come all the way up underneath, maybe started here at the bottom and then just clipped here to halfway because this whole big flap is kind of annoying. It's, it's kind of cumbersome, you know? When somebody is in a cafe, like it looks a little bit ridiculous when they're like seemingly unpacking their entire bag like this. I appreciate that it keeps stuff safe, but I feel like there must be another way. Oh my God, I'm quoting the TikTok, the Harry Potter TikTok. No, Ron, no, there must be another way. Anyway, my second con is that when your backpack is really packed, the sides here won't be able to button and then there's actually like a gap like there's a hole where um say there is precipitation could get into your bag this way or if you are traveling somewhere where you're a little bit more concerned about things getting stolen it's not great to have these gaps here where people can see into your bag now the laptop zip pocket which i just said was a pro which was a pro for me because my laptops do fit in there i did see that in the q a for the traveling backpack base did promise that a 15 inch laptop would fit into the laptop pocket i don't think that that's possible my 13 inch computers were very snug in there like yes i could fit two back to back but in terms of height and width, I don't know that they could fit for sure. And I've even seen in some of the reviews that people had issues getting their 13 inch in there. The clear plastic bit in the inside. So when you unzip it here like this, I wish that the clear pouch had been at the top so that when you're going through TSA like this, you can just quickly access it right here rather than like digging your whole arm in. I actually ended up putting my toiletries either on top of the organizer or in the top pouch right here so that I could quickly grab it. And then last potential con, which wasn't actually an issue for me, but could be for future travels is, while I love how much stuff you can squish into this bag and it is rather large the size, it could be potentially pretty bad if it doesn't fit under the seat in front of you and you have to either pay for a carry-on or pay for it to be checked. We do not love unanticipated costs, so something to be mindful of for sure when you're packing and then also assessing whether this is gonna replace your carry-on bag entirely. So in conclusion, this bag, is it worth the money? And the answer is, it depends. For me, for a three to four day trip, this was perfect and I really do think that the pros and the convenience of all of the aspects that they really thought about outweigh the cons, which I think are just things that could be optimized for future iterations. To be honest, like a bag does not have to be perfect for me to think it's worth it. I think that the details and the little frustrations are worth putting up with because this bag is unlike any bag that I've had for traveling before. I do wish it came in other colors and for other people, they may want it to iron out some other kinks like 
the laptop's not fitting, I could see that being a real deal breaker. But I think overall, this is a really solid bag. That's it for today's video. If you have any other questions about this bag, I've noticed that there are not a lot of reviews on YouTube for it so far, so definitely drop comments if you are considering buying this backpack. I do not claim to be a travel backpack connoisseur, so I am not gonna be helpful when it comes to comparison to other options, but just wanted to share my experience experience and things that I really appreciated about this bag. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll check out some of my travel content and some upcoming New York City videos. I'll see you all soon. Bye.